I'm like, I don't care. I'm going to put these on every day. Okay, all your shirts. 
everybody, no exception. So Saturday is game time. Bertram, they don't want out of this. They're not ready for this. You know what? This will be South Shore. We'll be the Vikings. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, South Shore on three, fifth, six. One, two, three. South Shore. Four, five, six. What is your crazy self say? Please tell me. Please. Five out. Five out. Everybody See inside. Slot. Zone play. Zone, yeah. Zone play. We're coming up the middle first. Right, and then we'll go from there. All right, 32. Here we go. Tough on three. One, two, three. Middle, come on, come on, ee, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, come on, come on, come on, get ready, Dash, get ready, Dash.
Tyler. You know, I think you were great on, on the offensive play. Yeah. I think we, I think, I think we really. Ball, we good. That team is good. Yeah. I wouldn't, don't be surprised if that team, I mean, they get an automatic bet for the A states. Don't be surprised they win states. That's a good team. And y'all remember yeah. what happened to me a few years ago. We were the number one team in the city. We walked into their place like we were Hollywood and we, we walked out of there with black eyes. Right? So yeah. what we have to do, we have to really work on finishing. Um, Jazz, Chloe, you know, especially you, because you go get the offensive rebounds and go back up. That nature. We really got to work on finishing. And virtually don't have shot blockers. So no, they take, don't. Take your time, they guide don't. yourself, and get it on the glass. They don't. Get it on the glass. I hope so. Our passing today was at a great 45%. We're hitting passes too high. We're hitting passes either not seeing bounce passes. One possession, we came down, and you just turned. Premeditated pass off the book. So we're not getting back to our championship here, here, here. Our skip, we got to take a dribble to skip the ball, move the ball a little bit faster. Teams that's playing defense do not want to deal with it. If you look at this game here in the first three, four quarters here, the guys is breathing a little bit harder. We was running around scurrying because know what they were doing? Skipping the ball more than handling the ball. So when we get to that next two, three games here, patience, boys, pass. All right, so you get a good night rest tonight. You sleep a little bit late tomorrow. Uh, that's me and, and, and Zayan. I'll see y'all here in the morning. Everybody else, I'll meet y'all at the press conference. Be there by 11.30. Let's not be late. Let's not be late and let's look presentable and respectable. Bring those permissions. Any questions or concerns? Yo, yo, the front. It's usually right like the front. If I get there before, I'll tell you, right? Just go back to the front. Shout out to the Lady Vikings. They're gonna smack up Truman. Jamie Foxx, the bad man for that. Jamie Foxx, you pull up, you're gonna see a 30 ball tour. Y'all like those kicks? Dude, I ain't even gonna do that. Get up. Patient factor, your heart rate don't go up. Your poise, you see things. Passing, move the ball. This is key. The three P's of life. My girl's about to get this dub on Saturday. You already know. Look. <laughs>
Kiana, Jada, Jasmine, um, Diamond, who has a scholarship to Manhattan College, Destiny, UMass, Burlette, Providence. You've worked hard. Enjoy this moment. Have fun. I expect you guys to ball out, both teams, okay? Today I'm not gonna speak about how challenging it is for these gentlemen to coach ladies and be successful. I think we already know that. Or speak of Coach um, Gladden trying to get this four-peat uh, or Coach Nerver, JP, trying to attain yet another championship, but this time in girls basketball. But I want to highlight their dedication to education and their extension of excellence to the court. Um, their camaraderie amongst each other, you don't know, they don't even know that I know, uh, their camaraderie as coaches is something that needs to be cherished amongst all our coaches um, in the PSAL and high school sport. Because we have a responsibility to these students um, and their ability to show them what's the right thing to do on the court. I have to commend them, wish them luck. Um, you've shown them the right thing to do. If I had coaches like these two, if all of them were like these two, that would make my job a whole lot easier. So I wanna say thank you to you two. Um, we expect this to be hot. Murray Bertram is coming back, trying to get this championship, bring Murray Bertram back to where they used to be. South Shore is going for the four P. These new girls at Bertram, the ice and the cold is really gone from the, um, the excitement of the championship. And we expect it to be a competitive and a great game. I wish you luck and we'll see you on Saturday. So uh, first off, I want to uh, congratulate all the teams for being here. Um, I tell my girls from day one and I stress it uh, all year, don't take it for granted to get here. It's not easy to get here, and you guys should really, um, you know, cherish the moment. Um, and then again, Brenda, Donald, thank everybody. The best AD in the city, Pat Tranny. Um, so it's not easy. Um, I got a, just a short story. Um, kind of been going over it for a week. You know, coaching in South Shore, uh, it has its ups and downs. You know, it can, it can have its Good times, it's bad times. It could be an emotional roller coaster, and uh, I've been there at South Shore 16 years. Um, and there, there was a point where, you know, I didn't know. I didn't know if if, if I could continue on. It got hard. Um, and this guy said to me, you know, he said, man, you, you know, you do it for the community, you know. And and, and I kind of sat back and I, I kind of said, like, wow, you know, the community. And and it made me, you know take a bigger picture on things and uh, really value why we're doing it. And it, it made me like say, well, the good times come and the bad times come. And, um, and, that, and that guy is here today, um, Coach Sean Marks. <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for, the, for his team. And um, he, he's worked hard to be here. And, He's always knew what it was going to be about. Um, and when he told that to me, this had to be maybe about eight years ago. When he told that to me, it made the bad days just kind of know that they were going to be good days ahead. So, again, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for the South Shore community. Um, this, is, this is big for our community to have both teams here on this big stage. I mean, the school has been incredible all week. And, you know, this man to my right, we, we couldn't have done it without him. Those of you that know, when you have a, a great AD, it just makes life a whole lot easier. So if I missed anyone, um, thank you for this opportunity for the kids and myself. Um, and looking forward to Saturday. And no matter what happens with either team, 
we're all winners because we're getting the opportunity to play on this uh, NBA court in the NBA arena and your families can see you play. So um, we're all winners at the end of the day. And Coach said, whatever happens Saturday, there's another phase to life. Um, and, and that's going to be academic. So make sure you always take care of that first and foremost. And again, congratulations to everybody. I got another trivia question. So, which team is going for history to have both their boys and girls team win a double-A championship the first time in history? Anybody know? One school has that opportunity. Which school is trying to restore greatness and balance the earth to bring back the 14 consecutive city champions and start a new streak? Anybody? Oh, 16. 16, I'm sorry, I shortchanged you. And which boys team is going for their first ever double-A PSAL City Championship? So you guys, you guys do all right with trivia, you do it, but more importantly, when we come back next year, who's going to write the history for next year? What's the story going to be? I didn't have anything planned to say. Um, just a good experience of being up here. I'm seeing the girls that I see every day at the school, you know, throw it back everybody, of course, you know, my girls. And um, a lot of the boys that I see right now in front of me, I've known since second grade, um, beyond, and some of them in their parents' stomach. So, you know, I feel real good that they get an opportunity to play on the Barclays floor and just to represent their school. And, you know, we're going to have some fun. All right, guys, thank you again. Uh, and listen, for everyone out there, um, Coach DeClary and I shared, you know, personal stories about our, our parents. You know, they're not doing so well. Uh, but we both agree, like, you know, like, basketball is therapy. So, you know, when you're out on the court, try to leave everything behind and leave everything on the court. Um, if you're passionate enough and you follow your dreams, anything can happen. Um, and also, win or lose, I mean, I love looking at all of you guys on Instagram. Um, I love seeing pictures of you guys with a trophy, but I also love you guys holding up your diploma. And win or lose, you need that diploma. So use basketball as a stepping stone, get that scholarship, and, and take the world by storm. I love you all, good luck, and we'll see you Saturday. Up next on stage, we'll have Murray Bertram. Oh, perfect. Next on stage will be uh, Benjamin N. Cardozo. So sure, boys, we'll do. We'll get you guys last, okay? And all the all the
seven forty in the morning. Game will start to nine forty five. Game time. Game day. You feel me? Gotta be here early, bright and early. Gotta be ready. And not ready for this. You feel me? This year about to be even better. That's a four P on the back. Oh gosh. Oh uh, yeah, he's yeah. on time. We're not gonna leave it until about like eight fifteen. So be comfortable. For the kids. Good morning, Right in the sock, so once you win, you just look right back up your lips. And they picked both of them teams to be way down. Back in there. Coach Slick, Arizona messed up my I had the win in the whole thing. Oh, yeah? It just said X, 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 and red, red. <laughs> I know. Hey, you know Virginia killed a lot of brackets. Oh, yeah, that's oh, so
Go! 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 Let's make some noise for the Lady Blazers and Lady Vikings! Get up!
Fort Burney Bird Club, number 21, Kaylee Morrell. Vikings, like you're playing like a bunch of scared people. Mm -hmm. We're three times champions, right. the state champions from last year. You're missing foul shots because you're rushing it. You got to take deep breaths on foul shots, and you have to stop taking all the three pointers for right <laughs> to the basket. Can't you see that they keep following us? We kept, we keep going into the bonus. Mm -hmm. But just the biggest thing is to realize how good you are. You know, when you're really that good, you don't have the jitters. You know what I mean? So I'm quite confident you're going to do very well in the second half, but but just keep your cool, relax, you know. We're the Vikings. We're the best. Play our game. We don't yeah. do nothing different, right? Just play our game. Let this second half just go right over your head, and let's get out there and just play our We up seven. We up seven. We're not even down. We up. But we've been up before. Summit, we were up nine going into the break. We've been up before. Don't let them back into it. Identify. I think we're gonna be holding the trophy in another 16 minutes, but you gotta play hard. Gotta play ball, man. This is it, y'all. Don't be sitting here. Come on, y'all. Don't be screaming that talk right now. Let's go. 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 So now so you got to be or somebody got to be prepared. Shot, no shot. That means you two are important because them two is watching four and the brothers are out there. So y'all two is important because y'all can't fall asleep and let them go. Jack, I need you to angle. Angle. That's why we miss angle on the second. Angle. Alright? We want it. Angle. 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 Angle.
Yo, we gotta run, man. Yo, if we get the rebound, bro, we got to go. We can run. Yo, don't stop. Wait till we get the No matter what, we in a better position. We're up ten. They gotta come to us. All right. One, two, three, four. Let's go, y'all. All right, E. Come on, bro. 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 Come on, bro.
Job in the second half, and that's why we were able to pull away. Got it. Coach, what's it like to get just four straight championships? Just something that not a lot of teams do, and you know it's kind of falling under the radar. So what are your thoughts? Yeah, man, it's, it's amazing. You know, the seniors came in. We, we didn't have any championships, and for them to leave with four is just a, a testament of their hard work. Has it ever been tough to kind of keep them, I guess, motivated because like they're so much better than everybody else? Man, that's the best question of it. That's, that's <laughs> been the story of our season, keeping this group motivated. They, from day one, they just wanted this thing. And you got to remind them that to get to this day, you got to work hard every day. So, I mean, that's, that's the story of our season, keeping this group motivated. And being that you were able to get that done, uh, you can look back on it now a little bit. You guys still have federations. You can look back on it now. What are your thoughts on that? How they were able to just day in and day out. Man, these, these five seniors, man, just happy for them and their families, man. They came in, they were actually here as eighth graders when we lost, and they all told me after that game, coach, we're never going to lose again. They never did. So how are you be able to keep them motivated uh, heading into federations? Oh, they, they know what's at stake. <laughs> uh, stake. We're going to enjoy today, and one day we'll get back to work.
Every year, day in, day out, he's he's with the little kids, he's with the big kids, he's working them out, building relationships with families, man of his word, keeping promises. Look, education, playing, scholarship. Pays the bills right here, man. Don't listen to all of that, man. <laughs> Boy, today, be smart. You know, when you're on top, there's a lot of haters out there. All right, so just be smart. Don't get caught up into it. All right, you're easily identifiable. Identifiable. Right, so don't dra don't drag into them. Walk away. There's a lot of haters out there. Um, so just be smart with your decisions. Enjoy today. Um, 
enjoy tomorrow. You know, I, I know I'm gonna wake up and, and go to church and, and be very thankful for having uh, this, this team and these group of young ladies. And very thankful for having these coaches as well. Um, the seniors, you did all you could do. You can't win 15 in a row, but you won your four. You won your four, so that, that's amazing. And, and you, you guys really set the tone, all of you guys, so it, it's very important. And then Monday, we're back to work. We want to end our seasons and our careers on wins, on a win. As good as it feels today, don't let it feel bad um, today. And I'm going to let y'all go enjoy the boys game. Um, very proud of y'all. Um, and we're back to work. Christ the King is not going to be easy. They're going to really have to follow the game plan. Um, and, and just looking ahead, we've already been thinking about a game plan. All right? Just already been thinking about a game plan. If you get a chance, um, I want you guys to Google. Uh, it's called Bad Boys. Um, it's the Detroit Pistons. All right? We've never been in Christ the King. We're, 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 we, we got a sponsorship. We got girls going to Division One, So we don't have nothing, like, dirty about us, right? But we're going to have to play very tough against them. They're a very cocky group. They have a lot of confidence. And you're going to have to ruffle their feathers a little bit. You're not going to allow them to think that like, they're just going to lay down. They're going to lay down. And I'm, and I'm happy Bertram didn't lay down because it, 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 it makes us more battle-tested. It makes right. us more battle-tested. But I'm like y'all. I want to go watch the game, too. Enjoy the game. Be smart. Great. Make good decisions. Coaches, anything? Good game, girls. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. South Shore Girls Basketball Varsity Head Coach. Just finished our 16th season um, with four and four in city championship games, having won the last four. Uh, we just completed the four P for the city championship in 2017. We also won the state federation title as well. The girls and their families, you know, we have a, a good group of girls and, and you know, with steady backgrounds and solid uh, families behind them. So we get the support of the girls and their families and that just makes my job uh, so much easier. I feel pressure now, you know, to win. You know, you don't want to be let let anyone down, let the community down. A lot of people just automatically assume we're going to win every year, being that we've won the last four years. So the pressure of of always continuing the winning tradition is definitely felt. Um, and I try to, you know, explain to the girls that you don't want to let your families down. So you have to continue to work hard so that you know we can handle the pressure of of winning. Just, you know, you know, blending all the egos and the different personalities of the girls. You have 13 different egos, you have 13 different personalities, 13 different characteristics that you have to gel into one and get them to be all on the same page that this is a team, not an individual sport. The 4P started with this group of seniors. They were freshmen, freshmen on the varsity. Uh, their first, their ninth grade year, and they, they were part of history that year. They, some of them played sparingly early on in their careers, but their practice habits were tremendous, and they helped the upperclassmen that year contribute to winning the, the city championship. And they discontinued the winning tradition throughout their four years, and it just became, I won't say easier, but they became older, they became more mature, and they understood that they didn't want to let that streak stop with them. So. This, this senior group was tremendous. To have four city championships, one state championship, and also be nationally ranked on several occasions, they're the, they're the best senior group that we've had here in my 16 years. Their leadership, their leadership. You know, they understood what it took, and they explained that to the younger girls, and they helped mold the younger girls. This is going to be the first, next season will be the first year that we won't have a Destiny, we won't have an Orlet, we won't have a Kiana, we won't have a Diamond, a Jasmine, a Jada. It's, it's going to be a new experience moving on to next season, so I cherish all the memories that they, they were able to accomplish. The most memorable moment this year, I would have to say when the three seniors signed their college letters of intent. Uh, Destiny's going to the University of Massachusetts, Diamond is going to Manhattan College, and Orlet is going to Providence. To see the families' faces where they, they know their child is going to college for four years on a full scholarship, 
that's always that's always the goal and that's always the thing that I cherish the most. You know, seeing the happiness and the pleasure of their families knowing that my daughter went to South Shore High School for four years and she's coming out with a full scholarship. That's always the best feeling. Study Hall is something that I've been doing from day one. When I first got here, South Shore wasn't the best school academically, so I felt that with the hard work and the hard practices that we were having, the girls needed to get their homework done prior to, to leaving the school. So we've always implemented Study Hall in the preseason, during the season, and postseason. Now that the season is over, Study Hall has not stopped. And it just gives the girl, girls an opportunity to work with their peers in groups, to work with their teachers. They have access to computers and laptops right here at the school, and they can get the majority of their work done. It just eases the pressure for the young ladies that have to travel to and from the school, that they can get their homework and their schoolwork done right here in school, and I can monitor them to make sure it's getting done as well. Very important. My outlook on girls basketball in New York City, we need better coaches. You know, it's, it's too many really good teams and too many not good teams. And I think that's because of the lack of coaches that are committed to girls basketball. If we had better coaching like on the boys' side, you will see more teams on an equal playing ground. I think there's too many, like I said, of the top tier teams and then too many of the bottom teams. Not enough teams in the middle that level out the playing field. So we just need better coaches to be committed to it. But at the same time, be committed to it. We want you to be 100% in. And I always try to give coaches advice. I always listen when coaches give me advice because we can all learn from each other. And I'm not selfish. I don't, I mean, I, of course I want to win and I have a competitive spirit, but at the same time, I want the game to grow. And if there's more competitive teams, the game will grow overall. All right, this is a great win, four years in a row. A champion is a blessing. And all I can say is, we're not done yet. States are coming next, and we're coming 10 times harder. And I just want to say shout out to my son, Joey, NBA, Motivate, Believe, Achieve. This is for you, Joe.